anyone here not have a Facebook account? Okay, perfect. Could you please explain to me briefly what Facebook is, if you do know? Social network. <laughs> That's correct. Um, according to DailyMail.com's article, Got a Smartphone, written by Fiona Kittle on September 2013, the average Facebook user checks into his or her account 13 times a day for approximately two minutes each time. So if you calculate the math, that's a lot of time spent on with Facebook being one of the leading popular social media sites, advertising has taken a turn in focusing a lot of their advertising to be on social media, particularly on Facebook. Why choose Facebook to advertise? Facebook has over 2.3 billion users worldwide, and advertising on Facebook is wonderful for multiple reasons. But the main reasons being is that Facebook has easy to use settings in choosing a demographic audience. Facebook is affordable. And lastly, Facebook can reach a large amount of people in a quick amount of time. Next slide, please. First, I will be discussing the basic categories that you can choose from in choosing your audience. So overall, businesses have the option to choose up to 13 different categories of different demographics and from there they can choose sub-demographics. So it can get pretty complicated. But a couple of the first points I want to direct your attention to is the location. So what you can do for this one is you put your business's zip code in, and from there you can choose the mile radius of how far you want people to see it. So if you, so if you have a very small business, you might not want a mile radius of 300 miles. The second one you can choose is age. So you can go as low as 12, and you can go up to 65 and plus. So that gives you a lot of range of choosing who you want to see that. The last one I want to direct your attention to is the interest portion, which, which this one is, is you can type in keywords that you want to put in. So Facebook users, when they're searching something on Facebook or while they're logged onto Facebook and on a different browser, they can type in certain words. Those ads will pop up to those users' pages. This is more of the particular specific demographics you can choose. So you have relationship, education, politics, affiliation, income, that kind of thing. So you can really hone in just who you want to see if you have a very specific type of business. Next, please. All right, now that I have given you a super quick rundown of the various settings and demographics, I'm going to talk to you all briefly about the cost elements involved on advertising with Facebook. Uh, Facebook advertising, costs is actually very complicated to explain, so I'm going to try to cover the bare surface of it and not confuse all of you. According to Fit Small Business's report, how much does Facebook advertising cost, written by Jeremy Marson on September of this year, he explained that Facebook advertising costs can be essentially broken down into two different components. The first one being CPC, which is cost per click, and the second one being CPM, which is cost per milli. Facebook can charge as low as 65 cents an ad to be advertised, but what that means is if your business pays for CPC, cost per click, and you pay 65 cents, and if a user sees your ad, clicks on it, sees the ad, the ad is forever gone. So the more money you invest on your ad, the more clicks you're able to give your ad, or you can do cost per milli, which is how how many people see your ad, and after that number has been reached, your ad is gone. What this image here shows is something called boost posts, which according to an interview I had with Madeline Walker on October 28th, who is the Synetic Theater Company's advertising manager, she explained to me what boost and reach posts mean. What a boost post is, is it's slightly different from CPC, a boost post is essentially taking a previous ad or post that your company has already posted on Facebook and bringing it to the top of different people's Facebook pages or your business's Facebook page. You can pay as low as $5 and up to $50. So what you see here is called reach numbers and that's about how many people your ad will reach depending on who has already liked, commented, or shared your ad. And the way reach is determined is based on scroll speed. 
which might be obvious to a lot of us, but to define it, it's the pace in which you move your cursor on a page. So if you're scrolling at a certain speed and you slow down at that ad, or you completely stop, that counts as a reach. Next, please. So now that I have briefly covered the various settings and demographics of Facebook, the cost elements, I will now briefly describe to you the results that Facebook provides for your ad. Unfortunately, Facebook cannot tell you if any new clients or products sold is from seeing a Facebook ad, but what it can tell you is how many people have liked, commented, or shared your page or ad based on the reach numbers that you just learned about. And from that, you can assume that if your business is doing pretty well and you're getting new clients or selling new products and you have a high number of reaches on your Facebook advertising, that you can make the correlation that some of your advertising on Facebook is in fact due to your success in your company. Next, please. So in conclusion, Facebook is the perfect breeding ground for advertising companies with easy to choose from demographics. It's fairly affordable depending on how much you want to spend on advertising, but it's really great for small businesses to promote their companies. And lastly, it reaches a large number of people in a quick amount of time. So, if you're ever in the market to advertise a company, whether it be your own company or a company that you work for, Facebook is a wonderful option.